9081 Chappelle, and uh, it's in a new construction uh, neighborhood. There's the Huffman over there, there's the highway. Um, we've had a massive amount of snow, um, but these are the neighbors, all pretty, pretty well kept, and all new construction. All right, this is uh, the colony builders on Chappelle. Um, they have a good product, husband and wife team, uh, so they have good quality finishes and, um, and pick some pretty good product as far as materials go. Um, you'll see some blue tape. Uh, that'll be just stuff they need to fix up and, and uh, be attentive to. There's just different places, and they'll take care of all that um, before moving. And then there's a one, usually a one-year warranty as well. Um, laminate flooring, so, you know, we have a rough outdoors, a lot of water and that kind of thing. So the laminate flooring holds up really well. Uh, off here of the entry is a bedroom slash office. There is a closet, so it can be made into a bedroom if necessary. Most people use it for for a uh, office though. It's laminate. Uh, the heat is a gas forced air system. Uh, on the hot water, it does have a on-demand system, on-demand hot water system. Uh, back here is the living area. This is a coat closet the entry over here and then uh, over here is storage for under the stairs some owners on a vacation rental will use that as a lock locked off just to kind of put supplies and other things for the people that are cleaning the house and supplying the house um we have a half bath downstairs which is pretty common as you'll see it's all kind of corian so it's it's good quality stuff um those are t that's a tile floor um and then this is the dining room uh, pretty good size. You could put a, a big table in there if you needed to. Uh, we have the entryway or the uh, living room has a vaulted ceiling with a fan in it. That's a gas fireplace. Um, as you'll see, the neighbors have uh, this is the backyard. The neighbors have fencing on theirs, um, which the owners are responsible to, for. And then it looks like you know this one does not have a fence in the back, so that'd be a responsibility of the of the new owner. Um, we have a small eat-in bar here, uh, looks like a gas cooktop, venting, and then over on this side you have a dishwasher, um, refrigerator is out in the garage, I'm not sure if it comes with the property, that's one of the things that's negotiable usually, so it's hard to say whether or not they're going to, uh, they did have a price reduction on this one I noticed already, um, nice cabinets, uh, this is the pantry, the pantry's a little bit on the cheaper side just because of these uh, these brackets, but that could always be changed pretty inexpensively, if needed. I mean, probably on resale, I would imagine would be a good option. Um, this is a big deck area. Uh, you put a barbecue out here. I noticed it was plumbed for, for a uh, gas barbecue. Um, this is the entry or coat uh, closet off of the uh, garage. So right over, uh, right over in that corner, right in here, is the uh, gas line for the barbecue. And this is the garage. Big storage garage. It's good because Alaska tends to uh, get a lot of toys, and there's plenty of extra storage in here. Um, electrical panel. Uh, this is where the uh, on-demand hot water system is, and then the gas forced air um, heating system. So now we'll go upstairs. Oh yeah, then there is kind of a, uh, a utility sink option in the garage as well. <clears throat> um, the garage is also uh, has its own unit heater. It's uh, gas plumbed as well. That's pretty common. <clears throat> uh, gas fireplace, in case I didn't. Then they also have it kind of set up for uh, TV and internet right there. So now we'll go upstairs. When we get to the top, we have uh, the master here off to the left. Um, let's see, one, two, three bedrooms up here. So here's the smaller of the two. I'll send you plans so you have an idea of dimensions. This one's pretty small. It's probably about 
know, maybe 10 by 12 or 8 by 10, somewhere right around there. Um, I'll have, you know, pretty decent closets. And this is the master this direction. Uh, we have a uh, full bath here, tile floor, tile backsplash, a uh, linen closet. So good quality. I mean, easy to rent and that kind of thing. I would think given the quality of stuff. And then here is a uh, another linen closet. Uh, this is the master. Uh, vaulted ceilings has a fan. Um, you do kind of see right into the neighbor's window over there. Um, carpet in here. And then uh, we have a shower. Uh, bathtub. And then uh, double vanity. And a water closet. All the ceilings probably about uh, 10, 8 to 10 feet. Then you have a walk-in closet. Um, good storage. And then we'll go back to the other bedrooms. So we went through that one already. Um, they have some nice fixtures up there. Um, um, and then we have a laundry room upstairs. It can either be a gas or electric dryer. Big laundry room. And then we have two bedrooms, one here, uh, one over there. Um, this one has kind of some funky angles to it. Um, Walk-in closet though, which is kind of nice. And then these two bedrooms actually uh, share a bath, a full bath. So we have a sink here, that's the other bedroom. And then uh, this is the, the bath. So when you're renting to families on a vacation rental, it's good to have kind of some separation. It kind of helps um, with the reviews and stuff to be able to get have separate spaces so you're not having to, to run into each other. But a family, you know, they are able to separate a little bit when they need to. So that uh, that is pretty much the house. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll await those.